he is away from the graphic. It's not even an illusion. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to play with these um, headers. These headers are pink. It doesn't really go with that graphic, not, not doing it for me. So in this particular case, perhaps I want these headers to be the same as this dark red color here. First of all, I have to identify what this is, and this is a category head, cat head. So I'm going to find my rule that governs that cat head. And I can see indeed, here's that pink, and, and the color of my text here is a blue. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that pink. Now notice as soon as I do, I get an eyedropper. And I can slide over here in Dreamweaver to an image on my page select it and now I've got the same exact color so there you go now those are are that darker red of course the problem here is that my text is still um, blue can't read it very well for the moment I'm going to switch it over to white just so that I can see around it the next thing I'm going to do is these particular boxes that are my category containers perhaps I want their background to be one of these paler peachy colors. So I'm going to figure out what container that is and that's called the cat container, cat, C-A-T-C-O-N-T. And I'm going to look for that right there and I can see indeed it is pink. And I'm going to use the same trick and I'm going to go over and apply a color from my graphic so that they all kind of match. I'm going to go ahead and click on save Next thing I want to do is I want to address the background and the background is part of a page property and I'm going to find an image that I want to play with there. Now I've actually played with a couple and haven't made up my mind so I'm going to play around here for a second. First of all I do want to repeat this image. I want to repeat it left to right top to bottom so I'm choosing just the basic repeat and I could do that one, or if I wanted to choose a different combination, I could certainly go back in. I kind of like my chocolate piece back here as well. Both of them are pleasant to look at, and both of them would work within this design. But for grins, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the other one. Okay. Now the only other thing that is probably not as appealing to me at this point, I still have a couple of these gray pieces left over. First of all, this area here, notice that there's a division here and of course a division here. The in-between stuff actually is not doing anything at all. I can't select it, I can't grab it. That's part of that whole container. And in terms of this container, I can see that there's the box and where I want to grab, that's not it. That's the one right there, the container. Notice it's still got this pay, pale uh, gray color. And I'm going to, just for the sake of seeing what it might look like, pop it over to a darker orange. Maybe. I'm going to leave it there for the sake of shortness on this tutorial. The only other thing I'm going to deal with here is this text color in this box and in this box here. This box is the uh, last update piece. So I'm going to come over here to my style sheet and look for last update, and there it is. And it's taking on what I'm going to guess is the default color for the page. And I can guess that because I don't see anything else here in terms of adding color. But I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Again, the more important part to click on is over here in my rule area. I'm going to edit that rule and I'm going to go to type and I'm going to go to color and I'm going to go ahead and go to a I'm going to go to that red again click OK well that doesn't quite look as good as I would want it to but for the sake again of moving through this here's my div start so the uh, program start date I'm going to find that in my here it is and once again for the sake of consistency, I'm going to do type, 
color and choose that red and click OK. I'm going to save it. Now the only other thing I'd have to pay attention to on this particular page would be my hyperlink colors. Let me go ahead and hyperlink this word midterm very quickly. Here's my brains. Here's my midterm. If I were to zip over to HTML, I can hyperlink that. So the only other thing here is that midterm link color looks on this template to be a gray color without any decoration on the underline or on the hover. So I'm going to come over here to my page properties and I can see that the text color is indeed this gray as the default. Here's my link color and it is that gray again. I'm going to choose a um, red and I'm going to choose that for my visited and for my rollover I'm going to choose a black. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to save this and if I preview it by clicking on F12 here is my newly designed layout and portfolio. So just by having manipulated the colors and added, I added one image here in the upper left and I added an image in the background. Both of these images I laid in as background images because they're easier to manipulate that way. But at this point, this particular portfolio sample is done. See you guys in a little bit.